Good day, this is Sergi from Sirius, Russia. Uh, today we're going to show a small experiment where we have, uh, for instance, raw dirty water with a pump going into our filter. This is the FS3 filter, so it's one of our smaller filters. But the logic stays the same, only the capacity and the sizes of the filters change. So it's easy to connect. So this will be your incoming water source. It can be a metal piping. It can be something like this where it's rubber inside. It can be plastic piping. This is a one inch diameter coming in, one inch diameter coming out. So wherever you, you want to use the filter somewhere closer to the exit point of the water so that let's say if there's a lot of corrosion and uh, you know any other things that can reduce the quality of the filtration that was already done it's better to have it towards the end of the water usage so here we have the drain valve we c this is a manual drain valve but it can be automatically so this can be connected to the maybe going out to the sewage waste water or wherever you might want to you know exit it here we have a water structure which we suggest to install before water coming into the filter this is a magnetic water structure so inside of all this is a very thick and powerful magnetic device now, this is something like a strainer for instance if you're getting dirty groundwater uh, the pump usually it can filter a lot of rocks pebbles everything so in some cases you will have to ask us so we will do the suggestion maybe you need a Y strainer maybe you will need a sand filter if it's a uh, if it's uh, you know very high capacity and uh, if the pump is very high capacity coming from deep deep inside the ground where so many different things can be pumped into the filter and the filter element the silver nano knit uh, it's thinner than the hair so you will want to use some kind of pre-filtration but uh, for instance today this is some ground dirt you know from the street it's not magical it's black, it's dirty, so we'll put that in there, we'll put some more, we'll put even more, we'll mix it around, very nicely, we'll mix it around, make it nice and black, okay, so now we'll plug in the pipe, uh, the pump, well this pump works very easy, it goes into the water, once you pick up this thing, it starts pumping, so we now pick it up, See, we have water coming out. This is just not a not a high capacity pump for a demonstration. But let's let it work. It's a little slow. But other pumps for videos, they're not very good. We tried them. <laughs> Basically, we can see the water. It's coming out nice and clear, but very slow. <laughs> You can see that that black water is coming out nice and clear now, but very slow. As we can see, we have nice clear water, but very soft. Now let's see what comes out of the drain valve that is not letting inside of the cartridge. Now the filter element is not letting this cart kind of water pass inside the filter element. For instance, now if 
we take all of the filter We can see that all these black particles that didn't pass they went down there and they they're on the knit but they can't get inside so every couple of few months depending on where you install it you take out the filter cartridge you take a soft bristle sponge or so with uh, citric acid lemon acid you do the you know the cleaning with a soft bristle sponge then it you know becomes like new again this cartridge is guaranteed for 10 years you install it back and the filter works as usual thank you for your time uh stay tuned for more videos we'll be demonstrating our uh, under the sink fsm filter and some other uh some other videos thank you have a good day